What's up everyone, Hunter here, back with part two of the Q&A. I just went golfing and on the first hole, got a bloody nose, wouldn't stop, bled through two holes, so I just ripped my golf towel and shoved it up there, afraid to take it out and see what it looks like. But here's part two, enjoy. What's your favorite color? Um, you know, typically I would say like royal blue, but I've really been feeling like a sage army green lately. Um, mine. Like her soul. If you could change your name, what would it be? I wouldn't. I've always thought the name Reagan was kind of fun. Kind of fun. Anything that wasn't Marin. <laughs> Mary, Maria, Mary. All the time. It's always Mary. I like my name. Every time. Erin? Popular or not in high school? What do you think? Like, you weren't not, okay, you want to talk about your tweet about how you were sad oh. that everyone was going to <laughs> We were going through our old tweets the other day, and I had one, when I was a sophomore and not even allowed to go to prom, well, except John Flegel does whatever he wants, goes to prom as a sophomore, but I had tweeted something about, like, all of my friends are at prom and I'm just alone at home or something like that. So that's what she's talking about. But yeah, I would I know say, you had many different groups of friends. Yeah, it wasn't like popular, but I definitely wasn't. People did not like me. I'm sure a fair share of people did not like me. You're a loser. I was somewhere in the middle. <laughs> I was problematic. Mm. What is something we don't know about you? Depends on who's watching. Uh, I'm a pretty open book. Same. Do you know how to play any instruments? You used to play the drums. I played the flute. I was terrible. I also took piano lessons, don't remember anything. I can play Yankee Doodle on the piano. Best invention in the past five years. Can I say I have a vacuum? <laughs> I love our vacuum so much. What's new? It's a problem. Like, I don't know what was, like, the last five Brilla, years. what was invented in the last five years that's notable? Let us know. Like, I'm sure there are a lot of things, but, like, why did you think of that? Which world culture is most fascinating to you? Probably, like, indigenous people of the Amazon that we have not contaminated with our humanity yet. Like the people that just live their lives and don't care about what the rest of the world is doing, those people are sick. I am not culturally knowledgeable at all. And I can say that very seriously. I don't know anything. I am sheltered. Is there a country you wanna visit just to like experience the culture? I want to go to Italy, but that's more because I'm half Italian. Okay. If you won the lottery, what's the first five things you'd do? Pay off my debt, invest, keep living life. I'd get a G-Wagon. <laughs> um, I think... I would buy things that we don't need. And I hate that I know that about myself, but like just because I had the money dollars. to buy all the trendy things, like those appliances that I showed you. That's the thing though, like a million dollars, it sounds like a ton of money. It is a lot of money. After we pay off your debt, it's not a lot of money. But in the grand scheme of things, it's really not that much. So it'd be much better to just invest it and let it sit there for a few decades and then use it. You're too logical, you're no fun. What makes you laugh? You. What makes me laugh? Everything. Just about everything. What makes me cry? Just about everything. Um, what she, are your... Hold up. We're not just going to glance okay, over that. talk about Daryl. Yeah, so we're at the real estate office today. And this guy needs some help making some flyers for his open houses. So Marin goes and helps him for like two hours. While I'm doing her grunt work. And 
She thinks this guy is so nice. He's so cute. She comes back to the office and I tell her that, yeah, he's a brand new agent. He's like 70 years old and he's just getting started. And she about cried. He was so cute. And I don't think he was married. And so he's just this lovely seven-year-old man who just wanted to know how to make open house flyers oh okay I think I need to read questions because you haven't eaten a bite I'm full oh that's why okay you don't know where we were yeah you keep going what are your favorite foods sushi Jack's pizza on the pizza pizzazz haagen chocolate ice cream and any sugary cereal. Fruity Pebbles, Captain Crunch, Reese's Puffs. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> <laughs> Chicken pot pies. Anything blended. Ew. <laughs> How did you decide to start a YouTube channel? Basically, I found myself watching, I mean, YouTube is my form of television. I don't watch any shows on TV. I don't watch a ton of Netflix. I just watch a ton of different YouTubers that I like. I'll try to make it educational and learn stuff, but a lot of it is just entertainment too. And I figured I'm wasting all this time watching other YouTubers. Why not just try it myself and see where it goes? What are your goals regarding fitness? Hmm. I don't know if I want to share. Yeah. So the one that I was just talking about last night. Yeah. So I'm going to create a video series surrounding this fitness goal that I have. So I'm competing in a powerlifting meet in May. That is my main focus right now. I'm trying to just get my powerlifting total, squat, bench, and deadlift as high as I can. After I do that, I really want to attempt to do a sub five minute mile and a 500 plus pound squat in the same day, weighing over 200 pounds. And that's all I got. I after that, like I'm really just trying to push myself to see how far things can go, but I don't really have any big competition goals or like huge number goals at all. Just the 500 and sub five mile is the big like tangible goal I have. Otherwise it's just like trying to get as functionally fit and as strong as I can now to be able to carry that later into life and do the things that I want to do. Do you have any fitness goals? Um, I think my only goal is not that I will actually do it, but I want to by next summer, Yeah. next year, June of 22, I want to know that I could have run grandma's half marathon. Is that the one that I wanted to do? Half or full? One of at the two at least grandma's. least the half marathon. So she wants to be able to run a half marathon by June of next year. Not necessarily do the race, but be able to run the distance. She would do the race, but we just don't know where we're going to be at in life. And that would be like the weekend before our wedding next year. So timing just wouldn't really work out. I didn't even think about Yeah. Yeah, we're getting married. Um. Yeah, that's happening. <laughs> what kind of music do you like? pretty much everything. I mean, we have coinciding music tastes. Like I would say you lean heavier into some genres and I lean heavier into others, but we both enjoy kind of all of them. But I mean, classic rock, alternative rock, some pop punk, even like today's hits type pop. And big one for me is country and kind of everything in between. He doesn't crave music though. He told me that the other day and I think that's weird. She just like has songs where she just like feels like blast from the past, need to listen to this song. And I just don't have that. Grills by Nelly. Every day Paul of her Wall life. Paul is a lyrical genius. Um, but I've been listening to a lot more podcasts lately, getting away from the music. So if you have any great hits that you want me to listen to, drop them in the comments. What are your favorite movies? Oh, and we forgot about EDM. That is a, a huge pillar in Marin's musical life. I was just going to let it be. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm stressed. Anyways. What are your favorite movies? Favorite movies all revolve around the military. I 
Love Top Gun. Lone Survivor. <laughs> Forget all the movies. And American Sniper. I can just like picture them. I just, you know, I'm bad with names. Pulp Fiction is my favorite movie. Which was our like first date watching Pulp Fiction at her house. He didn't know what he was getting into when I started it. Oh, that's the same one. Who has better hair? You tell us. Him. Mine's in a little bug. Who makes a better cocktail? So I did see this one ahead of time and I like explained my thought process on it to her, which is that if you come into a bar and ask for a cocktail, she's going to make it better. Like any classical cocktail that you would get off of a bar menu. But if you're looking to expand your palate and try something new, I can come up with some pretty good concoctions. Or like if you want to self-induce a heart attack, I, I can get you there. Yeah. So. Would Depends you, on what you're looking for. Would you double your salary to strictly deal with Karen's 50 hours a week? Um, absolutely not. No. I don't deal well with people like that. But that's what I learned last weekend. And I would say I do. But like, for us, money definitely isn't our main priority. Like, if I had zero debt, we would be just straight chilling right now but it's trying to tackle that, that's causing some financial stress. So I would be fine not dealing with problematic clients, patients, patrons, what have you, for the same amount, like, it doesn't matter to me. What does love feel like? I don't know, love just is. All right. We gotta get all philosophical. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Um, I'm gonna say no, and it's due to the structure of the bun. Now, you have some hot dogs where the bun splits, whether it's accidental or on purpose, that becomes a sandwich. But when it's welded on one side and you only have one opening, it is no longer a sandwich. I don't know what it is. It's a hot dog. But it is a hot dog. But like, if That's just my stance. If you on have that. a brat, is that also well, not a sandwich? Also, it's a, also it's, like it's just a brat. It's not a hot dog. It's just it's a species of hot dog. You know, they're in the same genus and family, but different species. Is Joe Flacco an elite quarterback? Don't care. <laughs> I don't know. Who that is. <laughs> um, I feel like I know that name, but I don't know. Jeremy, I'm really sorry. <laughs> I also feel like that was meant to... To do that to, to you. To do that to me, yeah. Celebrity crush. I didn't see that one. Well, you said you didn't look at them beforehand. <laughs> I mean, I kind of glanced <laughs> at them when I took screenshots. <laughs> Celebrity crush. Don't look at me like that. See, now... I know the way that she's gonna think about it is like all about the person, you know, how philanthropic they are, how good of a person they are, because she just researches everyone. I don't have time for that. Miles Teller. Okay. I love him. You know, I'm just gonna go with the, uh, it's kind of the vanilla answer of Megan Fox, yeah, but. Weird. Love what she's got going on with Machine Gun Kelly right now. If you could meet a celebrity, who would it be? Hmm. Blake Lively. See, she was gonna. Be, that was the other name that came to mind when I was thinking of celebrity or crush. Anna Kendrick. Um. I feel like I'd want to meet meet Mark Wahlberg. He's a funny dude. He's had a lot of great roles in a lot of different genres of movies. And I think I could vibe with him pretty well. Fears. Not, I mean, nothing very tangible. I would say the only thing I'm afraid of is disappointing those around me or like failing. But. I'm afraid of everything. Yeah. I hate being She by makes myself. up for my lack of fears. I, mm, nope. Like, Jesus watched the dogs one night. Cause I worked really late and I got home 
and somebody from above us like flushed their toilet or something and the water comes down outside of our wall. So as I was going to walk into our apartment, I hear water. I'm like, oh God, someone's in my bathroom. And then I walk inside, I immediately turn on the light. I look around, walk down the little hallway, turn that light off, immediately turn on the other light, go into where our room is. There's like this tiny little hallway area. Nook. Turn on that light, our door is locked. <laughs> So that starts a whole other thing. So I get the toothpick, because sometimes dogs lock themselves in there. I unlock it, flip the light on, throw the door open, there's nobody in there. Go to the bathroom, bathroom door is shut. Open that, there was nobody here, but I was heart poundingly terrified the entire night. But then I can just walk into a room and she'll jump and scream. It's, it's Like who really else was bad. she expecting? I don't know. I don't know. I try to be like, ooh. I'm a boss. I don't care about anything. No, I'm scared of everything. Everything. Every single thing. And this one was actually so long that we're going to have three parts. So next week, last part of the Q&A will drop probably on Tuesday. Don't hold me to it, but probably Tuesday.